Theo has filled in as a controller at a natural life park in South Africa for a long time, and he has done what was necessary. Raise a lion named Junior, since he was a cub junior, was brought into the world with his two different kin, who passed on from an illness he was the final straggler who made. The natural life park, the executive's leaner overseer, deal with him, and subsequently, they got Theo to finish the work raising a whelp, was difficult yet Theo partook, in each second with Junior, was lively and fiery as an offspring, and some of the time Theo proved unable. Keep up, and yet Junior was a cherishing and tender whelp, making him unique Theo and Junior's bond, made the untamed life park's number of guests increment over the long run great many local people and travellers visited the recreation area to observe Theo playing and really focusing on the fledgling. They were flabbergasted by Theo's courage love for the fledgling and Junior's submission to his controller. Their bond was extraordinary to such an extent that they were highlighted in nearby papers. Visited by columnists and characters, Junior would welcome the individuals who visit him. With a merry demeanor that not all can see in different lines, Junior figured out how to do straightforward and essential stunts to dazzle guests when he was four years of age. He likewise figured out how to submit to Theo totally, which stunned others much more sadly Junior, went after Theo when he was six years of age while in a taking care of meeting and wound up harming Theo's arm. The controller was then shipped off a medical clinic for quite a long time of therapy. The lion was moved into a more detached nook to guarantee he won't hurt anyone again as word spread the lesser. Had gone after his controller and had been moved to one more chamber, the recreation area's typical number of guests diminished when Theo completely recuperated from his physical issue. A couple of months after the fact, he demanded seeing Junior, since he missed the lion, despite the fact that the lion harmed him months prior, he actually needs to get back to work close by him terrified of not getting perceived and being gone after by the line Theo was joined by a gatekeeper holding a rifle on the off. Chance that the lion probably won't perceive and go after him as he enters the nook he takes a profound breath and sees Junior sitting unobtrusively and taking a gander at him. Theo opens his arms wide and grins at the lion despite the fact that somewhere inside he is exceptionally apprehensive about Junior's response after not seeing him for such a long time startlingly Junior runs and hops at Theo. To cuddle with him, Theo was really glad to see Junior remembering him. After quite a while, both of them played with one another and dig stunts until it was the ideal opportunity for him to bid farewell and pass on the nook to rest when Theo was going to leave the chamber. Something surprising and alarming occurred when Theo was going to leave the walled-in area Junior raced to him once more and jumped him from behind making him break down to the ground with his face first though. Began to get irritated so he sat down on his back and attempted to drive the lion away as as opposed to stepping back, Junior abruptly thundered as he felt compromised by Theo's motion. He started to pour his overseer and tear into him on the head, making Theo shout in torment the watchman going, with him called for reinforcement preceding pointing his rifle at the lion Theo actually attempts to call out to Junior, however. The lion wouldn't fret any longer. Junior actually assaults and pours him on the face, shoulders, arms and chest area. Theo shouts for help and takes a gander at the watchman, advising him to put Junior down straight away. The gatekeeper faltered until different overseers showed up and were sickened by the circumstance. The gatekeeper knew about Theo and Junior's security since he was an offspring and was quietly considering whether he ought to put the lion down or put his life in extreme danger to save Theo from the lion with his uncovered hands Theo yells at him and advises him to put the lion down by and by and the gatekeeper had previously settled on the hardest decision he might at any point consider Theo shouts out in torment at being gone after and realizing his number one creature sidekick would be fired dead sooner discharge was heard, and Junior imploded motionlessly on top of him. Different overseers from outside raced to help the seriously injured Theo, 
and conveyed him outside, leaving Junior inside his nook dormant, after effectively. Moving Theo to the clinic, they all teared up understanding that the age of one Carl has helped the bizarre ringmaster Elias to tame the lion and show lion they generally knew was cherishing and caring had been brought down rapidly. Theo tragically needed to again go through months in the emergency clinic to recuperate from the extreme assault that he encountered from. Junior, he phenomenally endured the assault, however, was disheartened to realize that his buddy that he raised was gone perpetually and he would never again embrace him, very much like in the bygone eras. Story 2 The carnival business utilization of wild creatures in its shows has been a disputable subject across the globe over the course of the years as individuals become progressively mindful of the confusions and risks of placing wild creatures in upsetting circumstances. For example, bazaars many have renounced against it, as of now tree huggers researchers and specialists have been whining about wild creatures in carnivals for quite a while they've supported that. Wild creatures have a place right at home and ought not be utilized for diversion. The public commotion was sufficient that a few legislatures hurt them and quickly prohibited wild creature use in. Carnivals anyway, there were just 40 nations that restricted them. Utilization of wild creatures and the public yearns for more change in different nations. Bazaars actually use creatures for diversion since no groups are forced in their nations. Carl is a youthful carnival entertainer. In a voyaging bazaar, in Germany he realizes about the public worry about involving wild creatures for diversion and is completely mindful of it any way he actually needs to come to work at the carnival, since this is the main way he can get cash to help himself to keep learning at. The college Carl courageously performed close by creatures. For example, monkeys, bears and even lions very early on. He has likewise subdued the creatures in their bazaar particularly their lion named Anton. He's a completely developed lion that was subdued since the it a few stunts to dazzle the observers, coming into their carnival to watch their shows as the years go by the quantity of observers watching their shows has diminished because of the public clamor about prohibiting bizarre creatures Carl Elias and the remainder of the troop were stressed over. Their vocations as their nation could be prohibiting bizarre creatures at any point in the near future regardless of the conditions Carl and different individuals from their troop kept doing voyaging shows with their creatures including Anton the Lion, was the superstar and onlookers were. Flabbergasted at its capacity to comply and do deceives one day, Elias informed the others that they'd make a trip to a town to perform their Carl, and the other troop part began to practice and prepare there. Creatures where Carl chose to prepare Anton for their impending show he guarantees that. Anton has been very much taken care of and looking great prior to continuing with the preparation to forestall any episodes and assaults. After the preparation, the troop went to the town where they'll perform to assemble observers and begin the show as quickly as time permits onlookers of any age. Came inside the bazaar tent to observe the exhibitions they'll show them later. Carl gazed at Anton in its enclosure for a couple of moments before the show began, he unexpectedly had a disheartened outlook on Anton's condition while performing with the troop and quietly trusted he could find a genuine line of work outside the bazaar, so the lion would never again need to perform carnival deceives. The show had proactively begun, and the troop individuals started performing tumbling trap sacks and different tricks that stunned the crowds when it was the Ideal opportunity for the headliner, Carl took a full breath and ventured into the stage before Elias liberated Anton from its enclosure individuals, was stunned to see a completely developed lion step into the stage with Carl and give them commendation before their presentation began Carl grins at them. Crowd as he moves toward Anton and peats its head like a canine after that Carl and Anton begin doing essential deceives together Every time Anton does a few plans, the group goes wild and needs to see something else for the last venture Carl drew out a Goliath circle that Anton should go through. 
Carl holds the enormous loop with two hands and signals, Anton to run and bounce through it. Anton ran and effectively jumped through the ring, which stunned individuals again. Things definitely turn us. Carl signals Anton to go through them. Loop again, Anton started to run, and on second thought of bouncing through the circle, it hopped directly to Carl and handled him down on the stage floor. The observers wheezed and some rose up to leave the bizarre tent in the wake of seeing the lion snarl and assault Carl, Elias and the other troop. Individuals are shocked as they attempt to figure out how to protect Carl from Anton's assault. In the meantime, Carl shouted in torment as the lion nibbled his head and poured his face a few times causing him to drain individuals started to overreact as they escaped from the bizarre tent and went outside to call for help. Then again, Carl was still ruthlessly gone after by the lion. When Elias got his whip and beat Anton with him, Anton bawled out in torment as he kept on palming Carl's face and chest, harming him seriously, Elias over and over, approaches Anton and beats it with the whip before the lion snorts and gets back to his enclosure. A rescue vehicle can be heard external the tent a couple of moments later, demonstrating that an observer has called for Carl to be taken to the clinic Elias and that troop individuals helped convey Carl to the emergency vehicle prior to sending him to a medical clinic for therapy. Carl fell oblivious after the assault and was seriously harmed and injured numerous specialists. Knew about the news, the protection place offered safe haven for all of the carnival. Troops, wild creatures, particularly Anton, the authorities likewise, suggested positions for Elias Carl and the other troop individuals, if they would have rather not proceeded with Bazar work without. Utilizing wild creatures, Elias needed to keep working in a bazaar without. Utilizing wild creatures, while Carl promptly chose to pause and proceed with his examinations for good after his recuperation. The assault at last started the support in regards to restricting wild creatures in bazaars much more and was utilized as an illustration that creatures don't have a place, any place in media outlets yet in the Wild Story 3. Furthermore, Sonia was zoology understudies at a college in India. Regardless of being different, the four had shared a premium in concentrating on creatures in all shapes and sizes they're entrusted to examine the presence of Asiatic lions, which solely dwell in India. They are a types of imperiled lions, and no one but hundreds can be found in the wild. Presently, most Asiatic lions are being safeguarded by an untamed life safe haven in Gujarat, India, where local people and sightseers can come and see the lions very close, Naveen Banjit Mira and Sonia. Quickly went to the untamed life safe haven to concentrate on Asiatic lions. After showing up at the recreation area, they were welcomed by the well-disposed staff and were gotten some information about their interests Banjit merrily. Let the group know that they needed to concentrate on Asiatic lions and would request that consent go on them on a safari outing to get photograph and video documentation about the creatures the staff concurred and sent Drew V one of the aides in the recreation area too. Go with the understudies on their safari trip roof, and the understudies will ride in an outdoor safari jeep so they can see the lions very close and take clear documentation about them in the wake of situating and making the understudies mindful of the well-being rules the driver bounced onto the vehicle with drove and the four understudies riding in the outside posterior of the jeep mirror and banjai consented to be the ones recording highlights on Naveen and Sonia, were the ones to take photographs and recordings for their review, the understudies then, at that point, entered the safeguarded region through. A wilderness trail, where Asiatic lions can generally be found, the understudies were stunned at how secured. The spot is showing that these lions are jeopardized and need security other than their own solidarity as their vehicle crashes further into the path a few Asiatic lions can be tracked down strolling and laying on the ground, which Naven and Sonia had the option to catch impeccably with their handheld cameras. They even saw Asiatic lion offspring and were glad that these had opportunity and willpower 
to duplicate and recover their numbers, the vehicle in some cases halted to give way to the lines. Going across the street or obstructing the way this gives the understudies. Additional opportunity to catch and record the way of behaving and data of these creatures, then again drove helps the understudies by giving them extra creature data to write in their concentrate in the wake of meandering the region for basically an hour. The understudies were happy with their discoveries and drove concluded that they ought to head back so the understudies can return home. As they were going back, they experienced a harsh street which made the jeep shake as they advanced through. The path the understudies in Druve all hung to them. Bars encompassing the sides of the jeep so they wouldn't tumble off sitting near the edge of the vehicle, Navain found it hard to adjust himself, so he stood up and searched for something to grip to. As he stood up, he lost equilibrium and tumbled from the jeep, which frightened the other's mirror shout, which alarmed the lines encompassing them in the space roof, says they shouldn't frenzy, since the lions could feel undermined, however it was past the point of no return, as they kept an eye on Naveen his. Back was harmed gravely, and he was unable to climb. Back into the vehicle depression, and Bungie extended her arms, and went after Naveen however they felt awfulness. When the lion nibbled Naveen's leg and begun hauling him away, Druv and Bunchit clutched Naveen's arms, as the lion needs to haul him out, letting him know he ought to attempt to kick the lion with his other free leg Naveen felt his body hurt significantly more as he felt himself being extended by Daruv Banjit and the lion he could likewise feel the lion's teeth puncturing against his skin and pawing his legs to ruin him. Sonia advised the driver to draw the vehicle nearer to Naveen so he wouldn't get loosened up, which the driver did it was a back and forth between Druvi Banjit and the lion that needs Naveen for Super Naveen makes an honest effort to kick the lion's face with this other free leg till he figures out how to kick it over and over while the lion actually endeavors to drag him away from Druvi and Banjite. Drove and Ranjit's arms were at that point broken down, yet still up in the air to save Naveen from. Peril Mira promptly thought it was best for the vehicle to drive forward to save Naveen. Then again, Naveen feels his body consume as the lion actually chomps and paws his legs and lower body after all the pulling drove and Banjite needed to do to save him the driver chooses to drive the vehicle forward to lose the lion as the vehicle drives. Forward Naveen is pulled out from the lion's grip and conveyed once more into the jeep by Druv and Bonjite. In a matter of seconds, Naveen then fell oblivious as they got back to take the understudy to them closest emergency clinic, his legs were seriously harmed yet specialist. Affirmed he may as yet walk again with legitimate treatment. After the occurrence, the natural life safe haven briefly shut to ensure the security of the guests and the prosperity of the occupant lion's story for. Moses is a 14-year-old kid living in a fishing town close to Lake Cariba in Zimbabwe. He needs to go to class however decides to assist his family with fishing as opposed to concentrating on he has a more youthful sister named Zyra, who is nine years old, whom he takes to a grade school. Consistently, he likewise has a more youthful sibling named Roni, who he brings to a grade school close to Zira's primary school Moses, has been a decent and faithful child in his family. He has been hands-on with his kin, and helps his folks with fishing as opposed to concentrating on the others in their town admire him, and he is like why Zira. And Roni's good example one day, Zira and Roni let Moses know that they had no classes and needed to invest energy with their sibling Moses, was happy with the information, and told his folks he would. Pard on himself from fishing today since he needed to bond with his kin, his folks concurred, and advised him to watch his kin intently Moses Zira and Rode headed external the town and played close to certain trees. It's been quite a while since they went out to play with practically no schoolwork or school to stress. Over them, three appreciated each other's conversation until they chose to rest under an enormous tree. Moses let his two kin know that he'd make a beeline for get them a few snacks to which the two concurred 
he told Zira and Rodi not to go. Any place her and the two gestured to concur with him. While Moses was gone, Zira and Roni began to play and go around the monster tree. Where they'd been resting they were getting extremely clearly until they heard something thunder a ways off Zira, inquired as to whether he was the person who yelled, to which the kid addressed that he was unable to thunder appreciate that the two youngsters quit playing as they noticed the sound and it was coming from a close-by shrub, Ronnie became inquisitive and needed to look at it, however Zira halted him and let him know it very well. Maybe a wild creature, Ronnie demanded, and Zira concurred that they ought to get close to the shrubs to hear the commotion the kid concluded, that they ought to sneak their direction to the brambles in the meantime. Moses got a few bites and beverages for Zira and Rodi when, hey, he heard a shout from outside the town. He promptly perceived Cyrus' voice, making him drop the food, and rushed to where they were shockingly. He saw a lioness snatching Zyra by the midsection and hauling her away, making him shout in dread. He quickly hurried to Zira in the lioness. Furthermore, attempted to hit and kick the creature upside the head and body, Roni was perched on the ground and grasping his niece, shaking in dread at what he saw Moses attempted to snatch and hold his sister away from the lionesses, chomp Zira kept on crying as she could feel the aggravation of. Getting nibbled and pawed by the lioness Moses was over and again kicking and punching the lioness to drive it off, which brought about the lioness relinquishing Zyra and handling him to the cold earth. Rather, Zira promptly got Brony and ran back to them. Town to get assist leaving Moses with the lioness on top of him, the lioness nibbles Moses' face, making it drain and leave an enormous opening Moses drives the lioness away and smacks it directly upside the head, endeavouring to hurt it and alarm it away, the lioness thundered more as it pawned and bid. Moses' shoulders and arms, his folks showed up with different residents, conveying lights and tremendous stones. A couple of moments later, Moses' dad moved toward the lioness and tossed a few huge stones. To hurt it, the lioness bawled out in torment and endeavoured to go after his dad, when he influenced at firelight across the creature's face, the lioness thundered by and by prior to running back to the wild leaving Moses, bloodied and oblivious. The residents then took Moses to a close-by clinical center to treat his wound Zyra was likewise taken. There because of the lioness's nibbles on her midsection and leg, yet she phenomenally endure specialists, were currently looking for the lioness that endeavored to end the existences of Moses and Zyra. Story 5 Nadia is a neighborhood local escort at a nature. Leave in South Africa, the nature park offers numerous untamed life-seeing open doors for vacationers, including a jeep safari and a mobile safari. The jeep safari offers a safari visit taken by vehicle, and a mobile safari is a famous choice to see the wild creatures very close with the assistance of. An aid Nadia has been a local escort for guests taking the strolling safari for a really long time. She has previously experienced numerous wild creatures, both risky and not in that frame of mind, as an aid some of the time, the nature park would be loaded up with sightseers and Nadia was, compelled to spend a bigger number of hours on work than investing energy for herself, despite the fact that her occupation is risky. She cherishes making it happen, and she's constantly charmed by meeting different wild creatures. Very close one day, a gathering of columnists came to the nature park to report what is going on of wild creatures under insurance. They were presented at Jeep Safari. Visit however declined they said they needed to attempt a mobile safari visit to get legitimate documentation and witness. These creature circumstances, the nature park the board concurred and got another aid. McKeel to go with Nadia, in directing the columnists they entered the strolling safari trails, as Nadia and McKeel educated the writers about the creatures they would experience Nadia and McKeel guaranteed the vacationers, had a real sense of security on the strolling safari since some were anxious. About experiencing wild creatures for example, rhinos or lions, Nadia guaranteed them they didn't have anything to stress over, 
since they knew precisely exact thing to do when a wild creature stood up to them as they were strolling the gathering strolled past giraffes and elephants there. Columnists were stunned as Machiel informed them that the creatures were in the best condition and that their normal natural surroundings were as yet saved. While they were under security, the writers were satisfied with their endeavours as they kept strolling the path until a surprising visitor, just, came to welcome them. Email line, a lioness should be visible, strolling past a tremendous tree before them. Nadia and Makiel advised the columnists to stop and get behind them, while Nadia drew out her optics and saw a pride of lions in front of them, a male columnist, inquired as to whether they could leave right away. However, Nadia denied she told the writers they shouldn't run for seeing the lion very close, since it would just pursue and assault them. Makiel advised the columnists to remain mentally collected as the lion is gradually moved toward Nadia advised. Machiel and the writer to stand firm and make themselves look large L, and the columnists followed as Nadia flagged them to shout as loud as possible and make clearly commotions to stop the creature Nadia. Nikhil and the writers yelled as the lioness stepped back there. Columnists were feeling better by the lioness, gradually leaving them just to run as quick as possible and charge toward Nadia, bouncing at her and bringing her to the cold earth the fall and the writers were stunned as the lioness gradually took over Nadia and began going and pawing her in the eye. Face and head Nadia shouted as she attempted to drive the creature away. However, it was pointless Mikhail called for reinforcement promptly as he moved toward Nadia and endeavoured to battle the lioness with his uncovered hands. The columnists were so terrified that they just remained there shouting in fear the lioness isn't giving any indications of halting as it keeps on gnawing Nadia's face, head, shoulders and arms blood was at that point streaming on Nadia's body and she could shout in horrifying torment not long after a group of guides with bear bangers and rifles show up on a safari vehicle and set off a couple of bear bangers to create clearly commotions and alarm the lioness. The creature quit going after Nadia and was wincing as two. People drew closer and conveyed Nadia to the vehicle. They likewise carried the columnists into the vehicle and discharged two rifle cautioning shots to drive the creature off. Nadia was left with terrible injuries and wounds on her head, face, shoulders and chest area. She was quickly brought to an emergency clinic and fortunately she endured the lioness was currently to be pursued and brought down to try not to go after others later on.